Bye-bye. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? How are you doing today here? I'm in Good Springs, Nevada, about 30, 40 minutes from Las Vegas. Welcome to beautiful Las Vegas. Welcome to beautiful Good Springs. Now, I'm here because it's kind of like a ghost town, but as you can see, a lot of people come out here and there's, there's life. There's life out here and there's houses. People live here too. I was coming here because I wanted to go to the cemetery. As I was walking around, as you just heard, somebody yelled out my name. I was talking to a lovely lady, a uh, viewer of my channel. Your name escapes me. I hope I see you again soon, maybe uh, within my next location. And she was telling me about this place right here called Pioneer Saloon. And I did a video, of, of course, about Michael Jackson, where his grave is, and it's off limits to the public. And so is Carol Lombard's. And this is where Clark Gable waited for news about Carol Lombard, where she was, because she was in a plane crash. She waited for three days in this bar. I'm being very vague about it, because I just kind of put the story together as, as I go along. I, I knew about, brief, you know, vaguely about it, not briefly, vaguely, and she told me, yeah, right here, and there's a whole room dedicated to Carol Lombard. Let's go in, and scratch marks, or, or we're, Clark Gable put his cigars out. Sounds like there's a live band. Let's go inside, then we're gonna go to the uh, cemetery. All right, so nice. So nice. You call them my name. And I love that. I love that. Anytime you see me, come up, say hello. You probably recognize me because of the hair. It's not. <laughs> There's no other reason why you'd recognize me. It's always the hair. That's what she said. And it's really what she said. Not I'm not making a joke. That's what she said. That's what she said. Recognize it from the hair. Here we go. Is it open on this side? Nope. side room here, Carol Lombard and Clark Gable Memorial Room. And those are marks where uh, he sat at the bar. Wow. Cheech and Chong. I don't know who else. Clark Gable, wow. Oh, there's the plane record. So 1942, 28 people. Is 18. Is it 25? Saturn gave him weights. 22 charred bodies. Oh my god, that's horrible. So this is the bar where Clark Gable was waiting.
All right, so just a little stop here. Now we're gonna go over to the cemetery and see an old ghost town cemetery. See what it looks like. Right here. Yeah. This is the lovely lady I speak of. This is Linda. Hello, hello. Who directed me to the Pioneer Saloon. Hi, everyone from Good Springs, Nevada. All right. Peace. Wait, wait, I was talking saying goodbye. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was at the end of the video. You should... So now I'm going to go to the cemetery. Okay. They were just here. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Nice to meet you. Bye. Exactly. Have a good drive. Be, be safe. Very lovely. And my friend Jason is here with me. You can see him way off in the distance walking. Good Springs was a town around 1860s. It was a mining town, but didn't become a boom town where they actually discover things until about 1902. And 85, pound, 85 million pounds of zinc and lead. And then, of course, once it runs out, the people run out. But still people live out here. And it's really cool to see. I'm kind of just doing this video, like I said, like I didn't even know about. I knew, thanks to Craig, who you've seen in some of my... Uh, Cemetery videos from Los Angeles. He had told me the whole Carol Lombard Clark Gable story and he mentioned the bar and I didn't put it together. Uh, so thank you to Linda so much for filling me in. And then I knew that the cemetery existed that only residents of Good Springs can be buried here and it's been around for years and some really cool, well, interesting looking graves. And I wanted to bring you along to show you them. And yeah, it's just off the road here. It's very, really, really, really desolate. I don't think I'm more comfortable anywhere than in the middle of the desert. I love it. Let's go take a look around. Reads, in the early 1900s, the Robbins family donated this land for our town's cemetery. This land is to be used only for burials of bona fide residents of the town of Good Springs. Please respect our cemetery. It is the final resting place for so many of our loved ones. And burials and information, goodsprings.org. Civil War, World War I, World War II, here as well. And... That goes without saying, for any cemetery you visit, visit with respect and bring love to the people that are buried here. Let's walk around, let's see what we see. I did a cemetery video from Death Valley maybe a year ago, walked around one, and it was just fascinating. And once, once again, I'm already looking at these and they are so crazy. Look at these, some beautiful, beautiful headstones. So you can tell it's not, it's not, you know, people just were buried 100 years ago, back when it was a boom town, well, over 100 years ago. 2023, Steve Gatlin, rest in peace. And I'm gonna be showing some people's names. You're not gonna recognize their names, but we're gonna say for sure, respect to their family if they see this video. Much love and respect to the people that are buried here. And as well, everybody here, I visit famous graves mostly, but everybody here has a story. Everybody here had a life. Everybody here did something, had dreams. Hopefully they fulfilled them. Quilter, chef, stargazer, Bonnie Louise Castro. Everybody here. So when I go to famous graves, I go to them because, you know, I'm interested to see where cemetery or where celebrities are, what their grave site looks like, tell you their stories, but everybody's led an interesting life. Not just famous people. And we have the Hanson brothers, or looks like, no, Hanson Sr., Hanson Jr. Look at these headstones. Wow. family plot here Some smaller ones oh gosh it's gonna be so 
somebody small, somebody young, I believe. It's the Fiel, Fiel family here. I believe when they're fenced off like this, it means that they're in disarray. They need to be repaired. No markings, right? Yeah, wooden. And possibly so you know that there's a grave here. Because otherwise, you'd just be walking over them. Wow, yeah, people come out here. Look at that. Some Boxes, candles. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Lynn Rhodes, husband and father, 2004. I'm gonna take a pan up and you can see these mountains all around me. Absolutely gorgeous out here. And we did see a Joshua tree from far away. As Jason and I were driving down here from Las Vegas. And I was telling him how I get excited every time I see a Joshua tree. Korea, Vietnam, the Lee family. Oren Earl. Wow. Right there. Look at this little tiny Joshua tree. Oh, oh is that a palm tree? No, oh, that's, that's a Joshua tree. Look at it. Gracie, the Loft, Loftus family here. Murphy. So it's not really an abandoned cemetery. It's a ghost town cemetery, but it's not abandoned. 1964, they still got the original plate. You see it all rusted out with his name in it. No headstone carved yet. Headstone, but not carved yet, I should say. A circular one. Oh my, what am I seeing here? Hold on. And we've hit Heartbreak Central, that's for sure, because this is 1963 to 1964, 1955 to 1955. Uh, speak for myself. I think I speak for everyone that's watching right now. That's just 1968 to 1968. Uh, Beverly Lynn Whitney. John D. Silba. That is heartbreaking. In lovely memory of Mickey D. Moran. 1938 to 2023. It's only 65, uh, no, no. 62, oh, 85 years old. Look at this. Wow. God is glorious. Here, what's this say? Oh, oh, 1920 to 1983. So, 63. So, I said, I thought it said 1970 to 1983. I thought it was 13 years old. Oh my gosh. No, 63. Yeah.
author. Stubbs, Anthony J. Tony. Tony Stubbs, beloved friend of people of Good, Good Springs, author of Death Without Fear. Maybe someone wants to take a look at that book. Not sure what uh, it says on it. It doesn't say anything. Hmm. Might, be, might be one over here. There we are. Some graves here. You can tell. No headstones. Right here. Snake hole over there. Gotta be careful. A lot of snake holes on Mochi on this side here. Flowers. Looks like some water ran through here at one point. Wow. This is it. This is the Union Overview right now. Good Spring Cemetery. Thank you, Linda, a viewer. Thank you for stopping and saying hello. It warms my heart when people do that. I love saying hello back and meeting people and hearing about their lives and hearing about how they watch my channel and how they watch it, when they watch it. She watches it sometimes and she likes my voice and she falls asleep to it. I said, well, that's sort of half a compliment. <laughs> I was joking with her. <laughs> my videos put you to sleep, but I get it. If, you know, people like uh, almost like a podcast. I fall asleep to those all the time. So if you're falling asleep right now, good night. Wake up! I'm kidding. Linda, thank you for showing me all that. And um, thanks for watching, everybody. Love you all. Much more coming. Peace out. This is cool. They've got the names carved. People carved their names. Krista, Hunter, Heather, or Heath Jr., I should say. Yeah. Gary? So what was that name say over there? Asia, Remy, Michaela, Makeva. Wow, that's interesting. Family members came and carved in. Very, very, very sweet.